talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop, open that is, movies and physical media. And today, I will be doing just that. I will be popping, yes, I will be popping open a box in which I have received real. This, I'm going to try to talk around the noises, it's from deepdiscount.com. I posted on Instagram multiple times about how great of a deal this thing was. It is a collection that was half price on top of them having a 15% off coupon. That price and coupon are no longer available. It's still a pretty good deal on that site. But I got this for 55-ish dollars and change. The original price was like 130. So yeah, and it's something I've been wanting and I honestly thought it was out of print. It is the Phantasm Complete Sphere Collection. And let's be honest, we just all want a flying Phantasm ball to stab us in the face and suck the blood out of our brains, right? I had to get this. I've been eyeing it for a while. I only own Phantasm 1 and 2. My Phantasm 2 is a uh, Scream Factory Collector's Edition one, so I'll be keeping that. There is also a black version of this, in which I've never seen. I'm guessing that was the more limited version. But let's just look at it here. So that's what it looks like on the inside there. It's got some sweet artwork too. Same thing on the other side. Like I expected to, I did tear it a tiny bit, just on this flap. But there's the car. That's cool. This thing is way too difficult to open, considering how simple of a box it is. Open this, son of a bitch. It's like a labyrinth of some such. Do you come out of here, or are you just part of this box? Okay, there we go. This thing is way too difficult. <laughs> way more difficult than it should be. Here's the ball. So it's got a cool stand. So it actually is like a separate thing it comes with. So that's kind of cool. And it's got a plastic bit underneath it in which it sets. That's what it looks like inside there. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, here it is. I'm guessing there's like loose pieces inside there. Because there's no like button to activate this with. So it doesn't like come apart. Here's the ball. It's cool though. I'm just more confused. Ah, there's the shiny bits. Okay, so there's this itty bitty plastic stand and these metal sharp parts. That's something. I might honestly just keep this in the box kind of how it was for now. Just so I know it's all in here. So there that is. Sits inside there. It's cool. I like that it's actually part of the stand. I just kind of wish it was a little easier to get into. <laughs> and then the little bolts on the front are the actual collection. That's really cool. It's a nice looking set. I've seen all these movies once, fairly recently at least. It's a nice hard case too. It's not somewhere in between, you know, Arrow limited edition and standard cardboard thickness. <laughs> so there's that on the back. So there's those damn poles. You know, it's actually technically this way. I'm holding it upside down. So there they are. Got the posters on the inside. It's cool. Yeah, the movies aren't bad. It's an interesting series. And it's nice because they're all made by the same filmmaker. And they all follow essentially the same timeline. There's no weird, like, Halloween, you know, seven different timeline kind of bullshit going on in here. It's all one series with the same actors. That's why it took 40-something years to get them all finished. Fantastic. If you're curious, the Phantasm has come uh, from 1979. Don Coscarelli is the filmmaker behind it. He was super young when he did the first one, like in his early to mid-20s. He also directed one of my all-time favorites, starring Bruce Campbell, Bubba Hotep, which I honestly prefer Bubba Hotep to any of these movies, but I'm very biased. Phantasm 3, that one is not bad. 
Phantasm Four, and like I said, they all have essentially the same actors in it. The uh, lead actor, because he's a young kid in the first one, was replaced by a slightly different, older actor in the sequel. Well, older at the time it was made, because he would have been younger at the that that you know they're like ten years apart. That's what's weird about him. But uh, but yeah, so in Phantasm Two, Michael, I believe, is the character's name, is played by a different actor. But in the rest of them, he comes back. The same actor from the original. That's him. Not there. He's in all the films. Reggie. But this is Michael. He's in all of them, but I believe part two. If I remember right. Where it's just a different actor. Because it was more of a big budget studio-esque thing. So that's what they try to do. And there's a bonus disc. And there's Don Coscarelli. And the tall man himself. That's cool. That's a nice set. I wouldn't pay $170 for it. But I'll pay what I paid for it happily. Thank you for anyone who follows me on Instagram and bought it because I shared it. I saw a couple people got it before I did, so I thought that was kind of funny. Even though I'm the one who shared it first. But this is a cool set. I'm going to put it all back together. And put it on the mantle up there. No, I'm not going to be able to get it all back together. <clears throat> Okay, this damn ball will be the death of me. Because you can still display it inside here, but you can't have the pokey bits. Blades and stand inside, it says it right on there. So, other than tearing the uh, corner of the flappy do a bit, very happy I got this. It is still, I believe, like 75 bucks or something like that on deep discount. So it's still a good price, especially if you can get a coupon code with it. But it's just nice to have another full franchise in this collection, especially a horror franchise. It's not one I grew up with by any means. I didn't see the first one of these films until I was probably about 20 years old. And I didn't watch uh, the second one until I got the Scream Factory version a few years ago. And then I watched 3, 4, and 5 last year, I think, when uh, Joe Bob's Last Drive-In did the entire franchise. I highly recommend getting this. Keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on deepdiscount.com. Because they'll have just like a random thing like this, super cheap once in a while. Their Synapse sets are always the cheapest that I've seen, and I've bought them from them. Uh, yeah. Don't have much else to say. I just wanted to show this off. Tomorrow I should be getting my Kino Lorbrasil, and finally. I was going to do them together in the same video, but that would be too long and annoying. So I'll do them separate. My name is Derek. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shop. Pop. Movies.